Hey, it's week six in the semester, February 12th through 18th. I um, hope you're having a good time so far with qualitative research methods and that you're starting to kind of get an idea of what we're looking for and the methods that we use to gather our data. This week we are starting um, a new topic. We're talking about phenomenological research. Phenomena is when we're looking at people's real life experiences and um, what they go through on an everyday basis, um, kind of their subconscious of what makes them believe the way they believe. And so that's kind of what we're going to be looking at um, of this coming week, one of the new new uh, theories, or I'm sorry, one of the new research methods. I will admit to you, phenomenology is a little bit difficult to really grasp and comprehend what you're doing. Um, but there's a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, you're looking for shared experiences within a group. So the group that you're going to be studying, you're trying to find out their shared experiences so you can help determine why they believe or they, they act in a certain way. And of course, to do this, one of the first things you're going to have to do is check your own feelings and your own beliefs and your own biases. And be aware of that because you don't want that to get into your study and sway you one way or another. An example I could give you is patriotism. You might have a community that's really, really become very patriotic. You know, they, they fly the flag at every holiday and they follow the rules of using the flag to a T. And uh, every, every patriotic holiday, 4th of July, Veterans Day, Memorial Day, they, they make a big deal out of it. Um, they aren't very tolerant of people who uh, maybe are from a different culture or aren't as patriotic. And you, you're wanting to find out what it is that's part of their shared experience that's caused them to feel this way and to behave this way. So that's kind of what phenomenological studies are. Um, that's what you're going to be looking at for this week. Okay. Um, as far as assignments, we are, again, we're in week six. Your first journal article is going to be due Sunday by midnight. Now for your journal articles, the idea here is I want you to start looking into academic journals and reading them with a critical eye. Uh, reading what they did, what they studied, if, they, if, they, if you feel like their research method and their data collection was appropriate. For the first one, I want you to find a study that's either using a narrative methodology or a phenomenological methodology. So one of the two methodologies we've covered to this point. So check those out. Um, my advice to you is if you're going to be doing a thesis or a research project, go ahead and try and find an article that fits with your topic because that way you're adding to the literature review that you're already using. Okay, My philosophy is work smarter, not harder. Um, so find an article that actually fits with what you're going to be doing for your final research paper. That way you've got one more in the bank for your literature review. But the methodologies of choice, narrative, or phenomenological. Okay? Um, I will get your observation assignments finished up grading. I'm working on those right now. I'll get those and get feedback to you. Um, I've really enjoyed what I've looked at them so far. So um, if you have any questions, give me a holler. Have a great week.